What's up guys? I got hopefully a quick little uh, teaser video for some stuff to come in the future. Um, I took order of a new thing today, so I'm gonna work at putting the new thing together and uh, show you guys what I got. So uh, yeah, enjoy this. So I uh, took delivery of the thing. If any of you know what a Sidewinder is, then the, uh, then the surprise is over. But uh, here in this box, we have the new Tapco brake that I bought today. Um, this is a Pro 19, which means that we have a 19 inch throat, uh, 10 foot six in the length. So that's good for bending 10 foot pieces, pretty easy. Um, should be a pretty sweet little addition. Uh, this is the Sidewinder. So the Sidewinder basically mounts. Let's see if we can just turn her over here. The Sidewinder mounts like that on the side of the brake. Um, this will hold my trim coil. There is uh, a little mouth here that uh, will run the trim coil into the brake. And then I also picked up for everything, this one little tool. So this is uh, the Pro Cutter Shear. So the way that, oh, if I can do this one handed, maybe not, yeah. So this is a shear and the shear runs on that little rib there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a little round, round rib um, that runs the length of the brake and the sidewinder, and that is used to cut the material. So sidewinder will hold my trim coil. I can cut my length. It'll shoot it right into the brake for me. Then I can make my rips and do my bends. And then while I was at it, I also ordered the snap stand for it with the adjustable legs. So um, this basically just folds up on the brake itself and has the adjustable legs. So when we're working on the rough terrain, we can set it up how we need. So uh, I'm gonna put all of this together so you guys can see the whole unit in its entirety. And uh, then hopefully at some point here, we'll put her into action probably on the raccoon mansion and on another siding project I have coming up. So we'll be able to put her into action and I can hopefully teach you guys about bending some different types of flashings and fascias and window wraps and all kinds of other stuff we will use it for. So stay tuned for those. Alrighty, there she is. So this is the what they call snap stand and it's because it's made up of all of the little snaps oh yeah big surprise adam being a hater um so that goes together really quick it also comes apart really quick uh side winder mounts up over yonder on the end coil fits in here uh coil will run out of this and then directly into the brake and then this is the cutoff tool which will also fit on this one so you can cross cut your sheet slider into the brake rip your sheet and uh, go to town so that is an overview of the new brake and then hopefully sometime soon I'll be able to do some videos on some of these cool bends that's kind of neat actually I'm curious to see what all Tepco has done with that so interesting very good New break, new tool added to the hoard. Very good. Until next time, we're signing off. You know, Jack said that they have a Tapco Pro 2000. I said, well, which one did you get? He said, the Pro 19. He said, why'd you buy such a piece of crap? <laughs> Very true. But it should be a sweet break, so. All right, later.